This tutorial covers the motion blur and to achieve that I'm going to open um, actually two pictures which are on my desktop and this, uh, this car and this other picture so I'm going to highlight both of them and open it. So basically what I'm going to do is take this car and put on this background and to do so I'm going to select the car right click select inverse and I'm going to control X from the keyboard which is going to cut it out I'm going to close that page I no longer need it I'm going to come to this other page click my move tool I'm going to go up to edit and paste and here's my car as you can see my car is really really big in comparison to the page so what I'm going to do here is shrink it in order for me to shrink it I'm going to go to control T on my keyboard push the shift key down keep it down click and drag so the car can be proportionally um, reduced in size alright so let's say this is a fairly good um, size for me okay right here so we're good I'm gonna click on the move tool to apply that now the second thing to do is to actually invoke the motion blur and the reason I created two layers is because this layer is going to have the blur making this car look as though it was really you know moving through a landscape at a really really great velocity so here we go I'm going to highlight my background and um, prior to doing that well we have all these flowers underneath here let's try to make it look as though this car is actually on pavement and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create and double click over here to unlock it and then I'm gonna create a mask from this mask make sure it's white choose my eraser and that's a little too big I'm gonna reduce the diameter okay here we go and now I'm just gonna click well thing is happening here we have a transparent background over there which is indicated by the checkerboard so I'm gonna control Z go back over here create another layer and make sure that layer is underneath and I'm gonna fill this layer with white so alt backspace and it should be white now back to our layer which is the landscape onto our mask I'm going to click the eraser tool and just click away alright and as I'm clicking away notice everything becomes white right underneath the car Okay, so this one pretty much looks like it's on the road or on the pavement. Well, at least that's the create. That's the illusion we're trying to create here. All right, and now I'm going to go to our picture. I'm going to go to filter, blur, and this time I'm going to choose motion blur. Motion blur. This is what my blur is going to look like for right now and if I want a car if I want to make the car go even faster I can increase the distance in the blur by just clicking here and dragging and if you notice on our picture it's becoming far and far blurrier as I move into greater distances alright so every now and then you may see a car commercial where the car seems to be streaking by the woods or you know a highway everything is blurred out but nevertheless the car itself is really crisp and clean in a picture I'm gonna click OK over here so here we have it we have a motion blur which makes us look as though this car is really really speeding down you know this pavement and everything else around there is blur whereas the car itself is just flying so that's how you can create a motion blur